Physical properties of geometric isomers. We have cis 14 dichloroethene and trans 14 dichloroethene. The cis isomer has the same groups on the same side of the double bond, and the trans isomer has the same groups on opposite sides of the double bond. And there's restricted rotation because of the pi bond in the double bond between the two carbons that prevents rotation within the molecule. So, due to the arrangement of the chlorine atoms, cis 14 dichloroethene is a polar molecule. It has a boiling point of 60 degrees centigrade and a melting point of negative 80 degrees C. Trans 14 dichloroethene is a non polar molecule. It has a boiling point of 48 degrees C and a melting point of negative 50 degrees C. So the polarity of the molecule influences the boiling point. The cis isomer has a higher boiling point than the trans isomer. This is due to the intermolecular forces. The, because it's a polar molecule, we'll have dipole-dipole attractions between molecules. And on the non-polar molecule, the trans isomer, the strongest intermolecular forces will be van der Waals forces. They are weaker than dipole-dipole attractions, so therefore it has a lower boiling point. The symmetry of the molecule influences the melting point. Closely packed molecules have stronger intermolecular forces. If we compare the melting point of the cis and the trans isomer, the trans isomer has the higher melting point. The reason for this is the trans isomer has the greater symmetry, therefore the molecules are able to pack closely together and closely packed molecules will have stronger intermolecular forces, therefore a higher melting point. Here's another example. We have cis butene dioic acid and trans butene dioic acid. The cis isomer has a melting point of 139 degrees C and the trans isomer has a melting point of 287 degrees C. And the reason for this, the cis isomer is able to form intramolecular hydrogen bonds. Here you can see the red dashes, they are hydrogen bonds, and intra means within the molecule. The trans isomer is able to form intermolecular hydrogen bonds, that is, hydrogen bonds between molecules of butene dioic acid. Therefore, it has a higher melting point. Next, we look at chemical properties. Here we have cis butene dioic acid, and when you heat it to 160 degrees, you form butene dioic anhydride plus water. And here we have trans butene dioic acid. When you heat it to 160 degrees, it sublimes. That means it changes from a solid to a gas with no liquid phase, but there's no chemical change.